Hey, what's up coin hunters and welcome to another two pence coin hunt with me Richie. Right, so before we get into the video, just to let you know, there is pretty much nothing of value we are looking for. Um, a lot of people in the comments ask me if searching pennies is profitable. Um, not really, it's just a Bit of fun to see if we can find anything that's super shiny to go in our collection. Look at that 97. Let's get it to focus on that. There we go. Look how shiny that 97 is. I might put that to the side and have a look, see if I need it in the collection later on. But yeah, there is nothing really besides the 1983. Uh, Miss stamp with the new pence on. Um, that is pretty much it. Just looking for anything that shouldn't be in there, like any territories or any um, international coins that we can add to the collection. Um, but yeah. That's basically it. There's nothing else when it comes to searching two pences unless you want to pick out all, all the um, copper ones and save them um, up for the day when there isn't any two pences. I'm also going to look at any super shiny ones to see if there's any um, 2019 dates on there. Um, yeah, so I'm just, if I see a new pence, I'm going to flick it over and just have a peek at the date, because you never know what you can find. Might get lucky and find a 1983 that was accidentally put. Could you imagine owning a 1983, putting it on the table, and then you accidentally spend it? That would probably be heartbreaking because they are worth about well they're worth in the hundreds of pounds. Imagine having a mint one and then someone like me comes along, does a little coin search and finds it. <laughs> now that would be mad. What's that? It's two pence, two pence. But yeah, so we're just looking for any oddballs, really. That shouldn't be in here. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, there isn't anything when it comes to two pences that is worth anything. The 1971 is probably the most common, or one of the most common uh, two pences out there. Um, there isn't, see, I say 1971, and then there's a 1971 new pence, but yeah, they're probably one of the most common um, coins out there. I think in one in a video, I will actually separate all the 71 and see how many we get in a video. Um, maybe we'll do that in the next one. But yeah, there's there's loads. There's millions of 1971 two pences. It's actually crazy. See, there's another one there. It is actually crazy, the amount of 71s there is. But still, people will ask, especially on Facebook, if it's rare. There's another one new pence, it's 75. There's another 71. Maybe next year we should save up all the 1971 two pences like we do with the Benjamin Bunny. This year. We've got the new pence 81. Let's see how many we get at the end of the year. <laughs> They'll probably be rare at the end. Where we'd have them all. Right, there is no territories in that bag, it looks like. I'm hoping 
we will get at least one territory. These bags as well. I think the last two, they were slightly open. So they wasn't properly huge sealed as well. Hmm. There's a new pence, 79. Right. They're quite shiny. What years are they? 2001. So you see how I flick them all. There's an 81, a 75, and an 80 all in a row, new pence wise. There's two new pences here. Then 81 and 70, uh, 80 and 71. But yeah, so far there is no territories, which is a downer. I do like to find a good territory that I don't already have. Nope. There's a two pence, new pence, 71 again. Nothing in there. Have a look in this bit. Nope. Nothing there either. Right. Next bag. Click them all out. I like how they some of them will do that. And now let's just have a look see. See if there's any treasure to be found in this bag. No, nope. there's a new pence though. And guess what? It's a 71. <laughs> Nothing there. So I think in the next video, next two, uh, two pence video that I do, I'll do the, see how many 71s we get out of the bags. It'll be interesting to see the ratio anyway. But you do see quite a few. Oops, 71's popping up. See that and then I get two 80's in a row. Alright, final few. Nothing. So no guys, no territories in that. At all. Guys, if you've made it this far, thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch my videos. And yeah, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button somewhere down there um, to become part of the UK Coin Hunter family. So guys, thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch my video. And I'll see you in the next one. So take care, guys. And happy coin hunting. Goodbye.